The reason I chair the Economic Development, Trade, and Innovation Committee is because I took a trip in 2005 with the governor to China. I went to Beijing and I went to Shanghai, and what I saw there forever changed my life. If you go there and you see skyscrapers as far as the eye can, as you can see, um, you see an industrious people who are working very hard, uh, making products, competing, being creative. Then you know at that point that the world will not be the same. And I came back here to Washington State and I took over the chairmanship of the Economic Development Committee. And it's because of those concerns. So I, this is my purpose in Libya, this is why I'm here, is to work, us, to work and focus on economic development issues. Um, two years ago, I created an independent economic development commission because we needed to plan a strategy that wasn't political. Too many of the strategies and plans that I saw when I arrived here were ones that would go away with that political administration or that particular leader of CTED, that's the economic development uh, branch for the government. Um, and I knew you couldn't do that. You had to have a plan, a strategy that the private and public sector would all buy into and I formed the Economic Development Commission. We passed it out of here, and they've come forward with a strategy for Washington State. And this is what I am working on implementing. It's a 10-year strategy. Um, it recognizes the fact that the world that existed prior to this economic crisis will not come back. It's now a far more competitive, dynamic environment than it was before. It can change very quickly. It identified as the key to success is innovation. No longer is it just enough to make a mass-produced item or an item that has higher quality and more durable. It's got to be new. It's got to solve the current problems that exist out there. It's got to be innovative, creative. And that's what the strategy does. It focuses on three areas. A talented workforce, having a talented workforce, a highly creative one, highly dynamic workforce. It focuses on infrastructure, making sure that we um, put in the infrastructure, not for the 1950s, not for the 1960s, but that for this century and beyond. And by that I mean it's an infrastructure that connects people together. Broadband, for example, a big part of that uh, infrastructure that we have broadband throughout Washington State. Um, also to make sure that we're independent of carbon-based fuels. We recognize, and I think most professionals recognize, that we're running out of carbon-based petroleum. Our petroleum. And we need to make sure that we're independent of these price fluctuations that we see on an international level on the price of oil. And so we need a lean, green, and clean infrastructure. And then finally, on research and development and entrepreneurship, we need to make sure we have the high-end talent bringing in the high-end research and that we also have the entrepreneurs in Washington State because that's where the growth is going to be, is in the smaller businesses, the entrepreneurial-oriented businesses. Um, I need to remind, I probably don't need to remind people, Google, for example, started with two people as roommates in Stanford Universities. Stanford University. More and more companies that will come, that will actually be game-changing, leading companies, will start from small entrepreneurs. So we're supporting them. So that is what I'm doing down here. That is what I'm working very hard, and I hope to have a strategy together.